Hello! In this video, we continue our series of videos regarding serial communication RS-232 and this video is a continuation of the previous video regarding the transmit of uh, one character. The only difference is that here we will transmit a string and dive a little bit deeper in the code uh, structure which is the same code but we'll analyze it a little bit in more depth regarding to the uh, original documentation uh, as always we start with the pinout the pinout is basically the same we using the tx0 the zero group uh, and the ground as a transmitter we use uh, an asp32 as a transmitter and we connect it to uh, channel 1 in scope and in scope we receive the following message hello world we ca you, you can see it here in more detail this is the message that we will receive in scope if we decode this message it's, it will be hello uh, backspace uh, world and the uh, new line okay as always, all the uh, codes are uh, saved in the repository because um, this is a pretty similar code. We saved it in the same repository, transmit. And here you see transmit character. This is the old code from the previous video. And the basically the same code, transmit string, the one relevant to the current video. Uh, here's the code and we will paste it to our editor. But before that, uh, we will refer to the same uh, expressive documentation regarding the UART. And here you see in the beginning you have six stages of uh, establishing the serial communication. The four first stages are obligatory, we must do them, and the stage number five and six are voluntary, so y we don't really have to use them. All those four stages are specified here in the code, it's the same includes the same UART 0 TX and RX uh, uh, definitions which were explained uh, in the previous videos why it's, is it a hot, uh, uh, it's a one and uh, and number three regarding the GPIOs and um, and here uh, it's uh, more uh, structured code which basically is the same we have the definitions of the UART number, we are using number zero. We define the buffer size. In this case, the buffer size will be 1000 uh, bytes. And we de define the Q handler. The Q inside the buffer, that will save the data before transmission or uh, reception on the other hand. Those are definition of a communication parameters, the boundary, uh, bits, uh, bit data formation, the parity bit, which here is disabled, is zero bit, and so on. And then we, we, we combine the UART number, uh, this one, to the UART config. So we imply the following configuration on the zero group of rx and tx uh, the next thing is uh, the pin set where we we using in our in our group the following pins and we don't change the hardware definition for the other pins uh, for the serial communication here we install the drivers the reading and writing buffers we define the size of the queue and the queue handler and uh, we don't use uh, the pointers if I remember correctly but this is the basic driver installation the, uh, uh, step number three and uh, our main is beginning of the program 
initiation of the serial communication and performance of the task, TS tasks, which includes only the data, the string, with a new line, and uh, and uh, we each time write the bytes with the following uh, of the following data with the following links to the following uh, RxTX group number. Let's see how we can compile it. Okay. Now it's uh, compiling. And we would expect uh, to transmit hello world to the scope. Please note the interesting thing. Here you have the send data, this line. We have a queue of three spaces, 10. This is this 10 of a uh, number of queue. And the interesting thing that uh, we are sending this data to the scope. And this is the picture that I see in front uh, in front of me. Uh, but you you can also can see this you are right byte also print data to the screen. It's pretty surprising for me. I expect to see it only on the scope, but here you can see that the data also printed via USB to the computer screen in my CMD window uh, so it's pretty nice okay so this is the a little bit more uh, detailed explanation regarding the serial communication RS232 and sending of hello world string to the world thank you